is Jamie Ellington. So I thought that I would just take a few minutes uh, and just talk about the Ebola uh, uh, epidemic uh, and put it in a perspective and, and try to frame it in terms of our global community uh, and who we are uh, as citizens in that community and as participants uh, in that community. The, the, the Ebola pandemic has been called by Margaret Chan, who's the Director General of the World Health Organization, she called it the greatest challenge uh, to the United Nations uh, system uh, in peacetime uh, since the formation of the United Nations in 1948. Uh, now that's not a, a light statement uh, for a Director General of a major UN agency to make. Um, I think she's absolutely correct uh, in, in that assessment. There are many things that we have learned and I think that become quite self-evident uh, in the face of this uh, epidemic. And I'd just like to run through a couple of key, what I would identify as key lessons uh, that are important for us uh, to, uh, it's an, I look at them as an opportunity, an opportunity for learning. And if we learn them, uh, then we will have a higher probability of dealing with what will be inevitably other global health uh, challenges. And so, I think the first and most important lesson uh, that the uh, pandemic, uh, the, the epidemic in West Africa uh, indicates to us or shows us is that it's always, always the most poor and the most marginalized people who are most vulnerable uh, to uh, epidemics. And that is true whether they're acute infectious or communicable epidemics or whether it, uh, they are non-communicable epidemics, like epidemics of obesity, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and so on. But in this particular case, the acuteness of a communicable disease in the very particular circumstances of West Africa illustrate very starkly and very immediately that it's always the most poor uh, and the most marginalized members of our uh, human society uh, who are most vulnerable. What we see is that the mortality pattern, the number of people who actually die, correlates virtually perfectly with the degree of poverty that a person uh, lives in. The majority of people in West Africa who are dying uh, of Ebola are living on less than two US dollars a day. The majority of those people live in slums and barrios and squatter settlements in the major urban areas of West Africa. Urbanization is a new global, not a, it is a new global phenomenon in terms of the speed and scope of urbanization. In 1800, less than 3% of the human population lived in cities. Today, 2014, 53% of the human population now lives in uh, cities. By 2050, that will be about 70%. So the, the, the speed at which urbanization is taking place uh, is accelerating rapidly. And the reality of that urbanization is that the majority of people are not living in, in cities where there is viable public health infrastructure. This event, with the uh, generosity of its attendees, has raised $18,000. Everybody is uh, welcome to stay around and mingle into the evening if you like. And uh, thanks so much for making this a great event.